Ryon's TV. Hey guys, welcome to Ryon's TV. I'm Ryon. So today, I am at the Tenshiba Koen, which is one of the biggest park at Tennoji. Tennoji is the south part of Osaka. As you see, well, last time I explained about the Abe no Harukasu, which is one of the tallest buildings in Japan. That's the one. Just front of that, Tenshiba Park, which is one of the biggest park at Tennoji. Well, there are not so many big parks around the Tennoji, so it's kind of hard to find a park. But this place, even it's in the city, but still, it's big and you can take a rest. Alright, so let's check inside. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at this one. No rides. Yes, so make sure don't bring your bicycle. Or, you know, if you're with bicycle, then park them. Well, actually, there are many bicycle users in Japan, so, you know, if we don't have that kind of sign, I believe there are many people ride on the bicycle and then try to pass through this park, so that's why I think they explain it. Well, the good thing about this park is there is a family bird, but the little tip, if you use that family bird, usually it's expensive, but front of the park, look at that. Well, maybe you can't see the magic, but there is a Don Quixote, which is the huge discount store, which I explained about in the previous video. If you go there, you can buy it with the cheap price. If you get the drink from the family mat, then you have to spend like 150 Japanese yen. However, if you go to the Don Quixote, then that's gonna be 100 Japanese yen, which is much cheaper than, you know, usual price, right? So, if you come over here and then you have a little time, then just use that Don Quixote. Inside the park, yes. There is a Tali's coffee. I like Tali's coffee as well, but I prefer Starbucks though. Anyway, all right, so let's go to check the inside of the park. Well, also inside the park, there is a cafe. This crepe looks so good, huh? Bad drink with crepe? 1,100 Japanese yen. Well, maybe I prefer the convenience stores dessert, maybe, because it's much cheaper, right? <laughs> and look at that, yes! That's a public square at this part. Maybe for some countries people, you feel like it's not that big. Yes, we don't have much park since they are such a small country and so many people. On the weekend, usually there are so many people playing around. All right, so there's a picture spot. I have to take it. All right, so let's go. Oh, so that was kind of fun. And there is Osaka Castle, but don't be trapped. That's not the real one. That's a fake Osaka Castle. The real one is far away from here. It's in the north part of Osaka and much bigger than that. So don't think that's the Osaka castle. This is the playhouse for the kids. You know, since there are many rainy days in Japan, yes, we need a place to let the kids play. This is the prices, you know, for adults and the kids. One day pass is 1,500 Japanese yen. Monthly pass is 4,800 Japanese yen. Well, I don't know. If I think about you come to the park, there is such a beautiful place. I think it is expensive. Yeah, I've seen many kids playing inside their house. So, hmm, I don't know. Maybe they have a monthly purse. Yeah, it's nice, but then I think they should open it for free. You know, since we are inside the park, how come they charge it? Look at that. Wow, do you know him? His name is Tsubasa. You know, that's the animation called Captain Tsubasa, which is a really popular Japanese cartoon about the soccer player. Yes, which is really famous. So, yes, that's the soccer studio, and I believe there is a soccer school. Well, in Japan, that's right. You are even in the park, but still, you have to pay for the soccer ground. Yes. Pretty much, you know. Everything, you need to pay money. Yeah, that's how it works. So, 
You know, if you want to travel to Japan, you got to be ready for it. When I was in the state, I was kind of surprised that there are a baseball court and also the tennis court inside the park. Since I was kids, I've been using a basketball court and a tennis court, but I always pay for that. Well, so that's why, you know, living in Japan costs money, huh? And yes, I am at the end of the park. Look at that. There is a Tennoji Zoo. Well, that's a Tennoji Zoo, which is one of the most popular Osaka Zoo. Well, I made a video inside the zoo and introduced my favorite top five animals in the Tennoji Zoo. So if you are interested in, please check my other videos. Well, so today, pretty much that's it. Hope you enjoy my video. Thanks for watching my video and please subscribe to my channel. And if you like the video, please thumbs up. And also please check my other videos as well. Thank you very much. Arigato. So, bye bye.